Most bombing rolls are now carried out by multi-role ground attack machines like the F-35 Lightning. However, the Air Force still needs big strategic bombers, aircraft so large they can deliver massive and accurate payloads to a particular target. To achieve this, America has a strategic bomber fleet that includes the impressive Rockwell B-1B Lancer. Often referred to as the world's ultimate supersonic bomber, the gigantic and powerful metal bird of prey can carry up to 24 2,000-pound bombs or up to 24 Joint Air Service standoff missiles. It can even reach an outstanding Mach 1.2 speed at sea level. In official footage recorded and published by the Air Force, the Lancer's features are put to the test for the entire world to see. As the aircraft glides on the runway to take off, the pilot increases thrust until positive climb rates are achieved. The massive B-1 then flies into the sky, and the fun begins. As the aircraft crosses the speed of sound, the cockpit begins to visibly shake. Even so, the crew members remain calm, the pilot coolly looks out the window, and the B-1 moves on to its next mission. The Bone The Rockwell B-1 Lancer supersonic variable sweep-wing heavy bomber was initially envisioned in the 1960s as a platform that combines the Mach 2 speeds of the B-58 Hustler and the range and payload of the B-52 Stratofortress. However, the original program was cancelled in 1977 due to budget cuts, only to be revived in the early 1980s. This led to a significant redesign in the B-1B Lancer, also dubbed the Bone. Amongst many differences with its predecessor, the B-1B Lancer has a lower top speed of Mach 1.25 in high altitudes, while improving the low altitude speed to Mach 0.92. Deliveries began in 1986, which is when the aircraft formally entered service with the Strategic Air Command as a nuclear bomber. By 1988, a total of 100 B-1Bs had been delivered to the Air Force. When the Cold War ended, the Strategic Air Command was dissolved, and the B-1B Lancer was assigned a conventional bombing role. The Bone first saw combat in Operation Desert Fox in 1998. Subsequently, the bomber dropped thousands of joint direct attack munitions in the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, carrying out crucial operations for early 21st century American military progress. The 146-foot-long aircraft with a wingspan of 137 feet, has a blended wing body configuration with a variable sweep wing and a cruciform tail. Capable of carrying the largest payload of any guided or unguided weapons in the United States Air Force inventory, the multi-mission B-1 Lancer remains the backbone of the service's long-range bomber force. Need for Speed Despite the close call that almost ended the initial project altogether, the B-1B would become an essential and well-regarded bomber. The B-1B Lancer is a multi-role long-range bomber that can perform a wide variety of missions, including conventional weapons carriers for theater operations. The type is capable of flying intercontinental missions without refueling to penetrate present and predicted sophisticated enemy defenses. And this is all achieved at incredibly high speeds, thanks to a key ingredient the engines. However, unlike the B-1A, the Bone's cancelled predecessor, the B-1B cannot reach above Mach 2 speeds. It has a maximum speed of Mach 1.25 at high altitudes, and the model's low-level speed capabilities were increased to Mach 0.92. That said, the current design speed is limited to avoid damage to its structure and air intake. To power the Bone to its maximum speed of 830 miles per hour, the jet has four General Electric F-101 GE-102 model afterburning turbofans. Influenced by its predecessor's engine, the production of the new model was built with an emphasis on durability and increased efficiency. The core developed in the program has since been used in several other aircraft and their engines, including the F-14 Tomcat and some versions of the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. Each of the B-1's four General Electric engines can produce up to 30,000 pound-force of thrust, enabling it to reach Mach 1.2 at sea level. Shake it off. The 
B1B Lancer holds 61 World Air Sports Federation records for speed, payload, range, and time to climb in different aircraft weight classes. Moreover, three Lancers established a long-distance record for the type in November of 1993. During the flight, the trio demonstrated the B-1's ability to conduct extended mission lengths, strike anywhere in the globe, and return to base without the need to stop. The following year, the National Aeronautic Association recognized the Lancer for completing one of the ten most memorable record flights of the year. Such record-breaking speeds can even be appreciated in official footage, taken from the cockpit and released by the Air Force, in which a B-1 Lancer pilot can be seen taking the bomber to the limit. In the video, an Air Force crew preps the B-1 to become airborne, loading the large, dark aircraft with necessary equipment. As the airman looks over his green screen, the pilot increases the thrust to start rolling, and then throttles back slightly to take off. Water vapor is then visible in the windows, due to the cooled air reaching the dew point in the cockpit. Suddenly, when the bone reaches full speed, the cabin and the cockpit can be seen shaking as the aircraft's canard vanes, or fins, reduce aerodynamic buffeting during high-speed, low-altitude flight. Not just yet. The United States Air Force and Boeing have constantly upgraded the B-1 design since its initial production date. Aiming to extend the Lancer's service as long as possible, the dual team has continuously developed a wide range of massive improvements for the B-1, including refurbished engines, enhanced targeting, and intelligence technologies. Just this past decade, the B-1B was further modified to be able to perform close air support missions. In September of 2020, the Integrated Battle Station, an eight-year program to equip 60 B-1s with a state-of-the-art command and control system, was finished ahead of schedule. This upgrade gave the flight deck a completely new look. At the time, it was reported to be the most complex and significant modification made on the heavy bomber. However, the type's retirement day cannot be pushed forever. After 2025, the planned Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider Stealth Strategic Bomber is set to begin replacing the B-1B. Moreover, all B-1 Lancers are planned to be retired by 2036, as the United States Air Force lacks enough funding to afford keeping the entire bomber enterprise once the new B-21 bomber comes online. As such, the service must divest some of the legacy bombers. As of 2022, 45 out of the original 100 B-1Bs remain in use, housed at the Dias Air Force Base in Texas and the Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota. The U.S. Air Force's classic B-1B Lancer will live to fight another day, at least for several more years. According to Colonel Jason Combs, 7th Operations Group Commander at Dias Air Force Base, there's a key element in the enduring legacy of the B-1 Lancer, stating, quote, the adaptability of the jet has ensured its relevance, not only from the early 1990s to today, but from today well into the future. I've never seen the jet as capable as it is today. For the time being, the team effort between Boeing and the Air Force to keep the iconic bomber with a cabin that shakes violently while airborne will continue. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to Dark Footage and the rest of our Dark Documentaries channels. Don't hesitate to browse all our available videos for many more historical moments caught on camera, and hit the bell icon to be notified of all our newest content. Stay tuned.